Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Perfect Genetics Challenge in The Sims 3. So today we're actually in our brand new house that we were talking about moving into in the last episode. Also, what is that thing flying in the air? Oh, it's nothing? Okay. But then when I come down here, excuse me, like come down this way. Whoa, what is happening? Eek, no! When I come down, look, there's like a thing there. Like, can you see that? Like, what? why? Why is that there? I'm so confused. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. Ooh, is that a raindrop? Excuse me? I think that's a raindrop. <laughs> anyway, okay, so you guys, this is the new house as, again, we were talking about in the previous episode. Now, if we just kind of have a little look-see around the place, I'm sorry that the camera is being really dumb. I think it's just a bad lot, but uh, we do have the what's it called? Driveway over here, our trash can. We do have our car in the garage and once we have enough money for a second car, we can totally put one in there. And then if we just come around the back here, I do have a few like playground equipment items for the kids. We do have a pool out the back here as well as this cute little decking out here. And I did pop down this uh, greenhouse, but I'm kind of thinking that Maybe we actually need to just get rid of the greenhouse because since the house is actually on a platform, in order to actually get like to have the walls down, we have to go all the way down here. And that's like kind of irritating, just like, you know, just a wee little bit. If we go up one more, like so that we're on the ground floor of the house, it's just it's really irritating. And I spent so much time trying to actually put this all together. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think we we're just gonna have to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm going to do off camera so that we're not wasting y'all's time watching me build and stuff with the very laggy build mode that is in The Sims 3. But anyway, so this is the house. Now I will sort of do a little bit of a tour. Let's see if I can do it this way. Alrighty, so going into tab mode is just going to be a little bit annoying because I'm used to the Sims 4 tab mode camera and also this doesn't have the fast forward option like when you press shift and then it kind of goes a little bit faster but anyways let's just see what we can do like this so this is our little entrance way there's already clothes on the floor are you serious <laughs> so it's really cute there's our staircase over that way we already have a burglar alarm which is perfect but yeah I didn't really change too much in the house I just kind of put down our own belongings and changed some color swatches on some things uh, this is just a false cupboard because there was like an archway with uh, with what's it called with like stuff in there before and I just thought that that was too much clutter so I just made it a false uh, what did I say? A false cupboard. And then over this way, we have our lovely little living room. And of course, with purple highlights everywhere. And then our dining and kitchen area. We have a huge bookshelf over there. There's another one of our children. We do have two fridges. So those two things in the exact middle of the screen right now, they are fridges. And that's like one of the only things I changed about the kitchen. I also think that I... I don't think that there was bar stools there before, so I did have to place those. But yeah, so this is our lovely kitchen, nice and big, exactly how we need it to be. And then if we go towards clear, I believe this is clear, we have this really cute sort of little hallway decoration kind of, I think that's a couch, honestly. Yeah, it, it's just a sofa. Uh, and then over this side, we just have like a little console table with a cute, cute mirror. Oh, right, in here is actually our bathroom well one of our bathrooms it's like the guest bathroom or the downstairs bathroom that uh people will use mainly hang on a minute i feel like we're missing something here no oh okay maybe i've got the entrance into there from out here so this is like our little just anything kind of hobbies room oh that's right so i did move this door to over here so when you come in here it's literally just a little wash closet just a toilet and a basin because not all of my simmies actually have still bloody yet. And then that is our garage. Lovely, huge. We love to see it. Now, if we just uh, go back through the walls, because clearly we're a ghost and we can just walk through anything. <laughs> Come back around this way. I'm also thinking about changing out those two paintings on the walls for something with like a purple design on it. There's our lovely Porsche. Uh, yeah, we've already been through there. So if we come back through this little archway here, whoa, look at everyone. 
uh, in through here, we actually have a bedroom. So we do have the triplets in this bedroom. So it was already mostly decorated from whoever made the house, whoever I showed you guys in the last episode. And I did actually link the house on the Sims resource in the description of the last episode. So that's them three there. And if you go through here, you actually get to a little bathroom. And that also leads into the other bedroom. So there's a little toilet down there too. So this also leads into this bedroom, which was the nursery beforehand, but now it's actually the quadruplets bedroom. That's actually a door. That's not a, uh, that's not an archway. Don't even worry about it. So this is the quads room, as I was just saying. And over here, there was like a false cupboard, but I just decided to kind of get rid of that and make it an extra little nook in the room. I just looked at the webcam like as if I had face cam on, but I don't today. Now we're back in the little hallway in here. So obviously that is where the, their door is into their bedroom. And then in here, we actually have a little laundry, which I also added a toilet into because I don't know about you guys, but I've definitely lived in houses where there was a toilet in the laundry room as well as elsewhere in the house. Uh, but anyway, then there's this other door in here. This is actually Portia and Buck's bedroom. Those two doors back there, they're just false cupboards. Just They're just for show, really. Uh, and yeah, so that is that. And then this is their bathroom in here. So they have in this way, there's a cupboard. I haven't actually changed that yet. I really don't like that there's a cupboard in there, but like, look, it's fine. <laughs> they have their double basin over here and then their lovely little bathroom nook over here. And I do believe that that is the entire downstairs. Let me just double, triple, whipple check. Yes, it is. Okay, well, we actually did that pretty successfully. I'm pretty proud of us for that. <laughs> and then if we do the upstairs, oh, whoa, we're pretty zoomed out here. I'm gonna have to come in. Yeah, okay, so this is the upstairs. Lots of paintings and stuff on the walls and we have our little chess table there. Uh, over here we have just a little music station. Of course there's an easel so it's basically like a little creative outlet sort of area. Uh, so in the middle here is actually the upstairs bathroom. So just the one basin, a shower tub combo and a toilet. Uh, but yeah, that's it for that. And Mr. Topaz is actually about to use that toilet. Speaking of Topaz, I've actually put him and Arlo into this bedroom here. So I know that they're not twins, but because they're pretty close in age, I just decided to go ahead and have them to share a bedroom. There's Arlo over there. Super cute. He's my fave, as we all know. Another false closet. Uh, and then across the other side, this before was like a... It was like an artist kind of room, like a craft room or something. But I've actually made this Everly and Enzo's bedrooms. So of course, they are actually twins. But yeah, so I put them in here and that is their bedroom. It's pretty much just uh, mirrored on both sides. Like they have the exact same stuff on either side, but they share this desk. Also, speaking of which, Miss Everly has had a little bit of a makeover. Of course, I said I was going to do that after the last part. So this is her sweet little face. Now I just need to find Enzo, but also that is actually the entire top floor. Like it's a really small top floor. But yeah, so that is the house. I hope you guys like it. Also, something really terrible happened after the last episode. My game completely crashed. So I had to go and replay uh, everything from the point when I put this house down. So the kids went to the prom again and unfortunately they didn't meet the same people. So I am actually going to have to go through and find the guys that our, our little Topaz and Arlo actually found love with. Who on earth is that? I have to somehow fix that person. But yeah, so I'm, I am going to, I like, I wrote their names down from the video so that we can hopefully find them in game again. It's also Monday just before we go to school. So surely there's time to get them their boyfriends back. Uh, when I say the false closets and etc. etc., I'm actually talking about like, there was these things in like the cupboards in the bedrooms. And then like, I think out here, there was just like sh a shelving system. I don't know. It just looked really silly and it wasn't exactly functional or anything like that. Speaking of which, I don't even think they are functional. No, they're literally just for show. So I could even figure out something different to put in there so that it's not just like a useless waste of space or whatever. But 
I don't know, we'll get to it. So yeah, so I, I do have to go and find Topaz and Arlo's boyfriends once again. And I do have to, oh wait, hang on, where's Enzo? I wanna show you guys Enzo before everybody actually heads on off to school. So, oh, Enzo's actually over here. So we cut his hair shorter. He's a really interesting looking dude. I really like him actually. He's super cute. Oopsie, wrong way, silly. Yeah, he's really cute. Uh, what was the other thing that I had to do? Oh yeah, so we've toured the new house. I've shown you Enzo and Everly's makeovers. Uh, I've told you about how the game crashed. So now, alrighty. Once we actually pop on everybody off to school, I'd actually like for River to start meeting some people because of course he is our heir to take over for the very next generation. But before we do that, I know it's kind of a lot later in the video than what we normally do this, but I would like to do today's shout out. And today's shout out goes to Nikki Zoid, who commented on the very last episode of the Perfect Genetics Challenge. And they've said, OMG, yes, I've been waiting for a new app. I am in love with the new house. I can't wait for the fam to move in next episode. Maybe if you can get the farmhouse one working, you can use it for future gens because that one was so amazing too. I think the performance park and options associated with that are from the career that came with Showtime. Don't quote me on that. I haven't played it for years. Haha, <laughs> just from memory. So I think that's why Buck didn't have the options available. Can't wait for the next one. Honestly, thank you so much for your comment. I know I also replied as well and uh, I'll just show you guys my response. I did say yes. I was thinking that with a farmhouse one because I'm legit obsessed with it. Uh, and yeah, I think I realized too that the career I, s I saw someone else doing performances with was from Showtime. So I feel like a silly bean now, but thank you so much, Nikki, for your comment. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the series and I, Hope that everybody else is, of course, enjoying the series as well. And if you guys would like a comment of yours featured in any upcoming episodes, all you do have to do is leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I mean, where else would you leave me a comment? Look, I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but yeah, uh, just leave me a comment. And yeah, they just get chosen at random once I'm just about to record a new episode for the day, for any given day. Now, where are our, here, excuse me, Wow, hang on a minute, what is happening to my game? Excuse me. I'm gonna need to kind of zoom in here. I don't know why the game is being hella hella laggy. It may be because we're in a bigger house now. Let's hope that that kind of solves itself pretty soon. We're also in a different area of the world, so I don't know. Maybe it's just kind of taking its sweet, sweet time loading up. Whoa, look at all of the people sitting on the couches. I love it. Alrighty, so everyone actually has to go to school now. Buck, uh, sweetheart, you're actually hungry, so I don't know why you haven't actually decided to go ahead and grab yourself some food. Also, there's nasty shit in the fridge if you want to just go in to clean that out. A free vacation. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. I was actually really hoping that this was going to happen. <gasps> do you know what? Let's do it. Let's send them on a free vacation. We have four teenagers in the house. Or actually, no, no, no. Yeah. You know what? 100% let's do it. Yes, 100% let's do it because what we could do is actually then have uh, Khalid and Vivek come over. Hopefully we can find them in the world so that uh, we can have them get back with Arlo and Topaz. I mean, not get back with, but, you know, re replay that stuff from before. Excuse me, why would you just chuck that on the floor? Like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, I, I get it that you're, uh, you're going on a vacation, but like, hello? <laughs> Oh no, she stopped doing all of the stuff that I wanted her to do. That's okay. We'll just have her do it once they come back. Why is the game like frozen? Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me just pause. <gasps> what just happened? Where, where did Portia just go? Why did she just disappear from the game? What the hell? Are you serious? What the actual fuck just happened? Guys, I'm so confused. What the hell just happened to Portia? I think I'm going to have to reload the game back up. You have no idea how much this has pissed me off. Well, the game's loaded back up now. Uh, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> that was ridiculous. So if that uh, if that free vacation comes up again, I have to remember to press no. I actually have a feeling that that may have messed up because we have more than eight Sims in our household. Yeesh. We might actually have to wait to do that until... Until... Yeah, maybe until we don't have quite as many Sims. But... Anyway, uh, let me just get all these kids situated so that they can go to school for the day. And actually, I'm just really quickly going to eat my breakfast and then we shall continue. So I'm thinking what I might do is actually just have every kid meet some people at school today. 
because I just kind of feel like that's probably the easiest way to uh, to get Vivek and Khaled Khalid Khalid back into our uh, our panels so that we can potentially get some relationships going once again. Oh, who's this? Ruth Bernstein. Oh, what a little cutie. I wonder how she met her. There's Trigger, our half-brother, Enzo, Susie, our half-sister, Yuri, and then all of the kids that are actually living with us currently. Oh, whoa, I was just checking the mail to see if we had any, and uh, we didn't. We didn't, but we do now. So perfect, perfect, perfect. And then shall we, uh, oh, it's just, I've never seen that. Get bill? Normally it says get mail. <laughs> But cool. So let me just uh, meet new friends. Prot applies. Oh, hang on. Need to wait for everybody else to uh, get into the bus as well. Meet new friends. Meet new friends. Let me just do this for everybody. Oh, shoot. I said there wasn't going to be birthdays every single episode again. And uh, ugh, we um we... <laughs> I may have accidentally played a few too many days off camera because the quadruplets are actually aging up tomorrow. Uh, cool. Love that. So Cleo, you have, uh, Cleo, Chase and Charlie aren't aging up for another four days. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is just, this is just going to be an everyday occurrence now. You know, I really do. Unfortunately. Oh, that needs to, ex uh, no, excuse me. Wow. What are you, what, what are you doing? Why are you guys being all romantic? Stop being romance. Clean that up. And you, did you plant everything that I wanted you to plant outside? Hopefully. Nope, of course you didn't. Cool beans. Wow. Carrot, carrot, carrot. Wolfbane, wolfbane, wolfbane. But what about everything else? Oh, my lanta. Plant three of these, please. And then, wait, what was that? Basil, I believe. And then plant three potats. One, two, and three. This is the other annoying thing about having a greenhouse is that you have to plant crap outside before you actually cannot put them inside. It's It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, a plasma fruit. We'll plant that. Also, I don't think that we grabbed all of the plants from the previous house. How? Yeah, from the previous house, which kind of sucks, but like, look, it's fine. We will get more from our little uh, machine thingamabobba in here anyway. So it's no big deal. No big deal at all. Although maybe we actually need to get rid of the walls in order for that to actually be fruitful. But let's hope that everything is just fine anyways. Alrighty, so hurry up and plant those, my lovey. And then we can pop them inside. After school employment, absolutely. We will definitely do that. Where is, oh, right there. I was already in it. Donkey, can we uh, register as self-employed? Excuse me, no. Where, are you serious? Why can't we, oh, here, jobs and offers, dum dum, no. Upload resume, no. Why can't we just like, you know what? I'll just wait until she gets home and we'll try to find her a part-time job like that. How is everyone's, oh yeah, you can do that and then uh, come home from school. Oscar Al Alfender, cool. No idea who that is. You, uh, you don't quite have 10,000. You've already got it. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. Wow. Yeah, we really need to start working on some of the kids, uh, what's it called, things. Uh, what, what, what are these called? Like wants and wishes and stuff so that we can get them some more lifetime reward points. Now, who was that? Who had to do outside reading? I've just lost it. Here we go. So Enzo, my darling. Oh, Enzo met Khalid. Perfect. And Arlo met Vivek. Oh, amazing. Well, that's really good, which means that we can get those two to come over to the house after school. Okay, good. Well, now that they have been met, I actually need all the kids to go back to working a little bit hard at school because, uh, yeah, all we needed was Khalid and Vivek. All right, so they're all working hard now. So you've planted everything? Perfect. So, <laughs> why am I talking like that? Shut up. Uh, now you can go inside, my lovey, and we're not going to wish for more fortune. I mean, we're already rolling in the dough, so there's just absolutely no point in doing that. Uh, what we can do, maybe, is... Hmm. Oh, right, 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 yeah. We needed to get, like, 30,000 for you for something. Oh, but the kids need to age up in order for that to happen. Golly gracious. Okay, who is calling you and why? Is this... Hello? Okay, so that is who's calling. Who on earth is Roxy? 
Roxy, Roxy, Roxy. I don't know who that is. Sure, we'll chat with you, but who are you? You're a good friend, but I've never heard of you. Excuse me? All right, Portia, could you please actually go ahead and clean up all of the dishes from around the house? Because honestly, the place is looking pretty nasty already. Oh, right. Did anybody actually clean up all of the laundry things? We'll have you do some laundry. Uh, hopefully, you'll actually do it. Or should we have Buck do it? Yeah, actually, I'm going to see if Buck can do it. Hopefully, he's not lazy. Uh, oh, he is a slob. Oh, maybe that's why there's like clothing everywhere because we do actually have a bit of a slobby husband. I actually just remembered that I need River to continue just meeting new friends because we actually need to get him somebody to like, you know, have a little babbly ruse with. Uh, so, I mean, I'm pretty excited that he's going to be becoming a teenager tomorrow in game because that actually means that if we can't find him somebody as a child, no, we're not going to France, then we can actually find, like, hopefully we can find him somebody at the prom. Oh, he knows this little Jerry guy, but that's not really helpful. We do actually need somebody that can bear children. All the teenagers are taking a field trip. Sure. Amazing. I keep forgetting that this is Enzo because I'm so used to him having the long hair, but that's okay. So Topaz, my lovey. Oh, you got to fix the boiler and then you've got to go home. Oh, but you've got, you've got work. Eesh, you might have to just uh, skip work for today, honestly. Oh, rip. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Topaz did actually get a uh, prom king as well at the... <gasps> really? Topaz? Honestly. Honestly? Honestly. I just don't understand. How is that continuously happening every single episode? Oh, who needed to read that book? You need to get a part-time job. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Let's just get all of these kids home who are... Oh, that was so cute. Buck. Uh, yeah, let's get all of these kids home who are not actually having to do something outside of school. Oh, you three are still... At, uh, sorry, all of you. You seven are still at school. <laughs> but the rest of you, you can get home. And River is doing great in school. He got on the honor roll. And Raven did as well. And Ruby and Robin. Ah. Oh, my goodness, my oh, my whole heart, my quads got on the honor roll right before they're going to be aging up in two teenagers. That makes me so happy. But can we just get the teenagers home already so that I can get them to do the things that they need to do? So read this, my honey, and then you can maybe go ahead and take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have... Hmm. No, that's okay. Just do that and then maybe watch some TV afterwards. Oh, watch some video games. Sure. Oh, that's right. I have to put these in the greenhouse. Yeah, I really don't know how much longer we're going to be keeping this for because you also have to put move objects on in order to even move them in, quote unquote, inside. Like, oh, it's just so frustrating. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. Let's just do that. And then I shall water the plants because we can do that without being there, which is great. Uh, what level are we on anyways? Uh, level five. Cool. Oh, you want to see Charlie age up well, but first you've got to see these four age up well. I mean, come on, calm down. <laughs> oh, my lanta. Oh, okay. He is definitely going to have to go to work straight from fixing that boiler. He's really late, like really, really late. He's only going to... Oh, I mean, actually, he's not that late. He's about half an hour late. Hopefully, he's all good. <laughs> City Hall was pleased, yada, yada, yada. So you're coming home now. Actually, I turned my teeth on, so just go ahead and teleport home, my honey. What's this? Go on a field trip? Absolutely. Do homework? <gasps> Absolutely. <laughs> Love that. So do your homework, sweetheart, and you can do yours. You can do yours. I'm just going to obviously now, uh, I'm just going to be now. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Oh, sweetheart, you know, you're aging up tomorrow, so there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to stay on the honor roll, soz, but it's just not going to happen. Uh, so you can do some homework. And so can you, and so can you. Also, afterwards, go ahead and play some guitar. Because you may as well, my darling. Now, once you're finished work, you can just teleport home and do your homework. Oh, yeah. So who needed a job? You. So can we look for a job like this? So if I go here, no, upload resume. Nope, register as self-employed. Well, that is very annoying. So where is a computer? Oh, don't tell me the only computer is up. Oh, no. Okay. So there's a computer in that room too. So, oh, okay. Maybe that's fine. Just come up here 
and sit here and we'll just pop onto the computer and maybe, here we go, find a job. Hopefully that will be fine. Buck is off to work any second now. Oh my goodness, uh, can we please clean up the bad food from here? Cause that's nasty. Oh, and you're hungry. Oh, that's okay. You're getting yourself food, which is perfect. Oh wait, are you cooking food? Mate, come on. Come on. Is there even a point in cooking food right now? You know, today's episode is definitely going to be longer than what I initially thought that it might end up being. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm actually going to have you make some food when you get home and then afterwards you can do your homework. I mean, not make some food, I mean get some food. Holy moly. So of course we are going to have to mausoleum clerk, receptionist, uh, bookstore, spa. I mean, maybe we could have you be a spa specialist. Sure. Go and do that. She's just going to be a clothes folder. I don't think that really suits her personality, but look, it's fine. So Buck, honey, you've got to go to work. That's perfectly fine. You've got to eat. Now you, oh, you're still working. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh wow. Look at your, look at your stress levels, my honey bunny. We definitely need to get him having some fun actually. So watch some TV and then after a little while, we'll have you do your homework, honey. So uh you you need to eat why are you not eating there's some food right there go ahead and eat that <laughs> and what about you oh sweetheart you're hungry too oh you've got a burger delinquent chance what about you you're eating all right so everyone's pretty much taking care of themselves which i love sweetheart you're hungry why are you not getting yourself some food <laughs> i love how i just ate my words could you please go and take a shower all right we've got to like upgrade all of the appliances and such in the house because obviously everything's like new i didn't bring anything from previous house uh, from the previous house so definitely something that we need to work on we do actually have portia at the top of the handiness skill which is amazing speaking of which oh my goodness she should have had the logic tab cast in have go listen to the logic tab cast <gasps> y'all she has thirty thousand. oh my gosh i am excited now what was it that we we're actually gonna get acclaimed author meditative trance uh not the dusty old lamp again fireproof extra creative maybe but like she hasn't really been doing paintings or anything like that so I'm wondering if that's even worth it so healthy hungry body sculptor inheritance is a good one but we can also just get the genie and get even more money from that or hmm, because the thing is she still has one wish on her genie lamp so I was thinking about giving that to River and then having him wish for a large family so that hopefully the first uh, set of children that he has is quadruplets Hmm. See, I don't know now. I don't really want to do meditative trance sleep. Acclaimed author. I mean, we're not even an author. See, I don't know now. I don't know. Oh boy. Maybe I'll just leave it for now and we'll see what you guys think we should actually get. Oh, long distance friend is a good one. That is actually a really good one to have. Yeah, I don't know guys. You might have to just let me know in the comments down below what you think we should actually get for Portia because I wanted that extra creative one but again like she's more of a green thumb now than she was uh like with her painting skill so her painting she's down at seven gardening she's all the way up at nine she's almost level 10 gardening so I feel like maybe we'll just stick with the gardening to be completely honest Alrighty, so Raven just saw a deer and so did Charlie that's so cute I love that so much Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I did not mean to do that. Oh, wait, Buck, honey, could you actually do a performance? Yes, you need to do that for your career. Absolutely. So, what are you doing, honey? Claire's up so early. What the heck? Uh, she woke up with the want to paint. So, I'm going to have her go ahead and do that. And just while everybody else is kind of still sleeping a little bit, uh, I am going to actually... Oh, wait, hmm. Yeah, I am going to actually start selling this so that we can make a little bit more money for our career's sake. And there we go. So she's actually gotten a promotion now. Fantastic. Oh, and when she wakes up, I'm going to have her organize the party for the quadruplets to age up. I'm so excited, which means that we actually get to see a little bit more what the quads are going to look like once they age up into young adults. Oh, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, I'm really going to have to get all of these kids situated. And then we'll probably be back once the kids are 
finished with school so that we can actually get their uh, their birthdays all done and dusted. Oh, and I am going to have River try to meet some more friends at school again today. Even with two fridges, trying to get everybody to eat is an issue. What the heck? Oh, okay. So Portia's also, um, I'm just going to have her listening to the tab cast for the logic one because she's literally just about to actually max out her skill and get her lifetime wish. Yes, we'll do the pile of permission slips, clean up. Oh, actually, oh, hang on a minute, because that's River. Oh, no, that's okay. Mmm, surely. Nah, he'll be, oh, no, he'll be too late for, uh, he'll be too late for his party if we do that. Okay, maybe I'm just going to cancel that one out. Arlo got a uh, gardening skill. Oh, yeah, also Topaz got on the honor roll again. I'm fairly certain that he already did get on the honor roll. Maybe when... Oh, maybe it was when he was a kid, aging up into a teen. I don't know, but he's on the honor roll uh, nonetheless. So I'm actually really, really excited now to see Portia actually get to level 10 of the logic skill. Okay. Wait, what? what why Why are you thinking about a baby? What, why? Excuse me, but why, why are you thinking about a bottle? Please do not... Oh, it's okay. She can enroll in university. Oh my goodness. I thought she was pregnant and I was going to freak out. Oh my goodness gracious me. She has two hours left of listening to this tab cast, but how much closer are you to... Oh, dang. Wait, hang on. Maybe we actually... No, don't go painting. Maybe what I need you to do is come upstairs and play a little bit of chess with your house band. Go ahead and do that. So then I know that you're, uh, you're actually working on your logic like super, super hard. <laughs> okay. Wow, she's so close. I wish it had a percentage, but alas, this uh, this this do be actually Sims 3. So research project, sure thing, chicken wing. Oh, oh, I hate when you can't actually do it straight away because then I forget and then that's not good. So Ruby just met Yasmin. Cool beans. Alrighty, how much closer are you, my love? How much closer? Farrah McDowell, amazing. Arlo, don't touch that. Oh, 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 <gasps> y'all. Oh my gosh. She just completed her lifetime wish. I am so beyond happy. You have no idea. Eee! Okie dokie. Shall? Okay, all good, all good. Yep, cool. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of our girl, you guys. Now, let's see what we can get with 60,000. A moodlet manager. What does that do? Eases the mind and removes troubling thoughts most of the time. Food replicator honorary degree that we could get an extra trait if we used that, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We could get a robot, maybe. Although, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know if I know how to make a robot in The Sims 3. The Philosopher's Stone, Collection Helper, Above Reproach. A fireproof homestead would be a good one, actually. You know, yeah. Definitely we'll get that. And then you guys still have to let me know what we should do with the last 30,000. Stinky bugs, sure. Oh, wait a minute. Who was that? Was that you? No. Who was that? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. See, because you guys are actually uh, due to age up in a couple of hours, so we can't be doing that, actually. Oh, my God. This is completely autonomous. Like, Buck and Portia are literally so in love. He's about to give her a dip kiss. Cool. They all had a great time on... Oh, sweet. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, we already knew that. Topaz is on the honor roll. And the carpool's coming for him very soon. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. So everybody has to get home now because we are going to be having birthday parties. But I just wanted to show you guys that Buck is just so in love with his wifey that he just keeps on giving her dip kisses and it's just the sweetest thing. Like, I can't even handle how sweet these two are with one another. So we met another friend at school. This is amazing. I'm really hoping that one of the children... Oh, yeah, cool. Now I can press that button. So I'm really hoping that one of the children can meet a child aged uh, female so that hopefully we can get River to be good friends with her. If not, as I said before, we could always just try to find somebody at the prom and just like, I mean, we can cross our fingers and toes that we can meet somebody at the prom when he's a teenager. So there is this Lulu Mathers person or Lulu Mather rather. She's got black hair. Uh, she's wearing glasses, which is really cute. Cleo got on the honor roll. Oh my gosh, sweetie, that's so good. Uh, but I think that's the only child female that, I, that uh, we've found so far in amongst all of the children's, uh, what's it called? 
uh, panels over here. Maybe what we should do is invite this uh, this kid over, then invite that other kid over. Where is the other kid? This one here. Oh, excuse me. What do you mean chat? What? Excuse me. No, no, no. Ah! Okay, so Farrah's going to come over, but what about this one? Or is this one already here? Like, did we bring kids home from school with us? Like, I'm confused. Oh, Vivek! Oh, yes, perfect. And where's the other one? Khalid, okay. So, no, we're not going to a party. Why does everybody always throw a party the moment that we're literally just having a party? Like, I just don't understand. Susie, it's always Susie. What are you doing, woman? You're trying to upstand us or something? Oh, my lanta. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. Let me just check everybody else's panels here. Yeah, you guys, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't know why we can't invite over that one specific kid. The, what was it? I think it was Lulu or something. This one here. I, I really, I can't understand why we, uh, we can't invite her over. So, I don't know. Hang on a minute. River is talking with, uh, I can't remember what this one's name was. What was your name? What was your name? Wait, where even, excuse me? What's going on? Oh, is this the kid here? Okay, let's go and have a look. She is so cute though. Oh my gosh, wait, come back. Look at how cute. Oh, wow. Definitely, definitely we could uh, be having River make friends with her. Absolutely. Let's greet her and hopefully we can become good friends. Oh, but you know, we should also probably uh, go back to Topaz. Oh no, not Topaz. No, he's at work. We'll go back to Arlo. Now, who was Arlo with? Arlo was with Khalid. So, uh, where are you? All right. Wait, hello. Oh, Khalid's right there. So if I could just have him friendly, uh, sorry, friendly introdu introduce himself to him, I'm actually just going to cheat their relationship back to like just a little bit sort of thing. Wait, is this Khalid? Okay, good. So if I just kind of cheat that back a little bit, that will actually be really good. So then, oh, hurry up and friendly introduce yourself. So then I can hopefully get you guys romantic and become boyfriends again. Oh no, he's a young adult. Are you serious? That's not good. Oh, okay. Well, uh, he thinks that we're hot, which is amazing. So we can flirt. Oh my goodness. They were supposed to be boyfriends. I didn't realize that he was older. He wasn't before. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Well, that kind of sucks. But uh, at least he is... At least he is in our uh, panel now. Excuse me. Who is finding Everly attractive? Who is this? Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I'm fairly certain that you are supposed to be with somebody else. Yeah, Vivek, excuse me. Where are you? Oh my goodness gracious me. Vivek, my darling, you cannot be thinking that. No, you just can't be thinking that. Where are you? Oh my goodness, he's right there. I'm so silly. All right, uh, Topaz, honey, you do you have Vivek in your thing, in your panel? I'm hoping that you do. You do. Okay, so I actually need to cheat their relationship up a little bit. Is he still a teenager? I'm kind of hoping so. Honestly, I'm just going to get him to... Oopsie. Wow. Come home right now and uh, hopefully he doesn't try to get with Everly because Vivek was meant to be ours and ours only. <laughs> so oh, where are you going, sweetheart? Where are you going? I know that he just left work early, but like, I don't care. Because <laughs> I need him to come up here and go and be flirtatious because you guys saw it in the last episode these two loved each other so uh, we just have to get them back there you know so Arlo is obviously you know in a little bit of a uh, situation over here with Khalid so that is absolutely a-okay let's compliment his personality I really need them to be boyfriends you know oh my gosh and now he thinks that we're hot oh so cute Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. We didn't really get a really good look at them uh, in the last episode, honestly. Let's uh, just do some flirtations and hopefully he really likes us, you know, just hopefully. And then once we're kind of uh, done over here, we'll obviously then go ahead and age up the quadruplets. All right. So I'm hoping that Vivek and Topaz are now actually going to be going steady. 
Unfortunately, uh, Khalid went home, but that is okay. We can obviously get them situated at another time. Oh no, everyone's going home. Anyway, it's okay. Hopefully these two are going to be... Yay, okay, sweet. So they're boyfriends now. I love, I love. Oh my goodness gracious me. We didn't actually age anybody up. <laughs> so, just quickly, let's go ahead now and uh, trigger Ruby's age transition. I'm just going to go down the list this way, you guys. And then I'm going to give them a makeover. And I'm, of course, going to do that off camera. And then I will update you guys with uh, their new appearances in the very next episode. All right. So, Ruby is going to be never nude okay she has some really random traits but cool cool and then if we go over to robin now again robin is actually not going to count anymore because we have actually decided to go with river as the uh, as the heir for the next generation so let's just do robin now and we'll see what trait he randomizes Fantastic. So, a workaholic. Alrighty. Ooh, he's an interesting looking little guy. Look at him. What a cutie. Okay, I'm just going to really quickly save as well because we don't... Uh, oh no, we can't. Okay, never mind. That's right. I'll save in a second then. Okay, all saved. So, I'm actually going to leave River for last, to be completely honest with you guys. I just... I feel like giving it a little bit more, uh, what's it called? Like when you're looking forward to something, uh, anticipation. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> also, uh, Portia's thingies are going to, her lifetime points is going to be going up honestly quite a lot from all of these birthdays. So can't wait to see how much she's got after all of this. Yeah, yeah, we, we get it. Okay. Everybody's seen somebody age up we get it we get it we don't need that many notifications alrighty so raven is a vegetarian okay oh hang on a minute we didn't actually we didn't look at what uh ruby is meant to look like where's ruby ah she's over here oh she kind of looks like portia oh a little bit oh my gosh um that's that's an interesting face raven a very interesting face indeed okay there we go that looks a little bit more regular Oh, cuties, I cannot wait to give these guys their makeovers. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Her name's Ruby. Oh, I just realized that her name... Hang on. We, we literally have a Ruby and uh, she's got an auntie called Ruby. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I've done that. I literally had no idea. I did not even realize. Well, <laughs> I mean, oh well. Oh well, okay, so last but not least, we do have to go ahead and age up Little River and the trait that River gets is actually really important because as I've already said, he is the heir for the next generation. Oh my god, no, go away. That is not important right now. We're trying to have a birthday here. This is the most important birthday, so just like grow up and get on with your life, please. Yes, I know. We, yes, we all threw a birthday party. Okay, calm down. Riffa! Oh my goodness! So, I'm scared. So, he's easily impressed, a cash potato, absent minded, and he has star quality. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, no! No, because I don't want my kids to be celebrities. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to ruin our lives. It's absolutely fine. So, wow. All right. <laughs> so I guess that actually concludes today's episode. He looks very interesting there. But I'm really hoping that he turns into a super, super duper cutie once we actually give him his little makeover. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you're enjoying the series, just in general, I said that funny, but I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> uh, please 
do be sure to go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well as making sure that you've got notifications turned on so that my words are coming out so weird I'm so sorry but uh, so that you do not miss out on the uh, on every upcoming video oh my gosh I'm like my brains all over the place today if you guys liked today's video in particular I hope that you will consider showing me some support by clicking on the like button because that really does help me and my channel out so so very much and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time you guys, bye bye!